top five recruitment tests. Now, first and foremost, we have numerical reasoning tests. These account for the lion's share of assessments that get completed, certainly in the UK. These are assessments designed to measure a person's ability to work with numbers, quantitative information, being an overall measure of one's general cognitive ability. They're used very often in almost any role that requires at least some numeracy, but particularly with emerging talent populations. Next, we have verbal reasoning tests. Now, these two go as a pair, verbal and numerical reasoning. It makes sense. Most of the information we work with on a day-to-day -day basis is either going to be verbal, written, spoken, or numerical. And so people like to use the two as a pair. And so very often, they're used in early stage screening, graduates, apprentices, interns. Very common to use verbal reasoning tests. Slightly less common is the third, which is an inductive reasoning test. This is a sort of logical, abstract, diagrammatic type um, assessment, which falls outside, of course, of the scope of a verbal or numerical reasoning test. It's looking at one's abstract thinking ability, what we would call fluid intelligence in psychology. It adds a lot of value over and above a verbal and numerical reasoning test, and as a result, the three are used as a trio very often. Next, we have critical thinking tests. Now, critical thinking tests are a little bit more niche than verbal, numerical, inductive, but still very, very commonly used, particularly in law and in other roles which are predominantly qualitative in nature. It makes sense. You need people who can think critically, as well as that managerial positions tend to very commonly use critical thinking tests because you do just need people to make effective decisions. And so critical thinking becomes especially important. And then finally, personality questionnaires. They come in number five. They're not used as much as the others because the others are used far earlier in the recruitment process. Personality questionnaires are often used a little bit later. They're often used with a little bit more senior staff, mostly because of the cost. Often they are more expensive than ability tests. And as a result, they're used in more higher stake situations. And as a result, personality questionnaires, they tend to be very represented when looking at senior managers, middle managers, and particularly first-line managers moving into management for the first time. Now, at Test Partnership, we offer all of these assessments. We have a suite of numerical, verbal, inductive, critical thinking, and various personality questionnaires, which you can use at any level.